Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a February reset. Resets are something that I have seen people start to do and I absolutely love them. I think that it's kind of like a fun, I don't even know, like, like time that you can just like sit down and really focus on preparing for the next month and kind of reflecting on the past month. So I really wanted to start incorporating these into my channel. And I think that instead of like doing like TBRs and wrap ups, like I'm just going to kind of combine everything into one video and have it be a little bit vlog style because I prefer to film vlogs versus like sit down videos. Sit down videos are just not something that I do anymore. So I think that this is a fun way to like, I get to still sit down, but also I kind of get to do a little bit of vlogging at the same time. So I'm going to do a little bit of a reset today. It is February 1st. I was hoping to do this over the weekend, but that just didn't happen. It was a very busy weekend and I was not feeling great. So we're doing it on February 1st and I wanna get ready for the new month and just kind of talk about January because January was a rough month. So let's talk about it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I put up a goals video at the end of 2023 and I was like, oh, I wanna do a video a week. And I already have not done that in January. January was I don't even know. January was such a slumpy month. I don't know what was going on with me. I wasn't reading a lot. I wasn't really interested in making content or vlogging or anything. Some things I started and I just like didn't really know what I wanted to do with them. It was just like I was in a book slump but I was also in a video slump and both of those together are not great for being consistent on YouTube. Um, I didn't have any like backup plans. I'm not ahead on content or any of those things. So it was just a really rough month. I think I uploaded like two videos, I think. And I'm pretty sure one of them was filmed last year, like in December. Um, so it was just all around, not a great start to the year, but that's okay. Um, we're, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna come back from this and we're just gonna have a nice little fresh start. And I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna just like think about what I can change and what I can, do to make this easier because I do work a full-time job and it's just very easy for me to get stressed when I'm trying to like do so much at the same time. One thing that I really think that I'm going to try to change is the way that I go about filming my videos. So I love seeing like the videos where you read whatever type of book for a week or you know it's a weekly vlog or anything like that but those just don't work for me anymore because I want to be able to read a certain amount of books per video and I like reading at least three books per video. To, to me three feels like enough for y'all to like want to watch and to have like a variety of books for y'all to kind of like listen to me talk about and watch me read and I just like that number and I cannot read three books in a week. As much as I wish I could, I just can't. I have so many other things to do. I haven't done that since I was younger. Working a part-time job, I had more time. Um, I just I just can't do it anymore. So we're not gonna try to do that anymore. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the time out of the video and just focus on the books and wanting to read three books per video. So in February, I really wanna work on trying to change my mindset when it comes to planning videos and trying just not to get stressed about the video and be able to enjoy like the reading that I'm doing. So it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a little bit of adjusting. And so I think there will be an adjustment period for February where I'm probably not gonna be uploading every week because I need to catch up on content like I need to have like a cushion of content so that I can take a little bit longer to read books but yeah January was just it was rough I read two books I think let me pull up my goodreads because I've been tracking on goodreads so this year I've read Addicted to You by Krista Ritchie and I've read The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston I enjoyed those books I actually loved The Seven Year Slip that one was great but those books took me so long to read. Addicted to You by Kirsten Ritchie. I really liked this one. I feel like it was a good start to the series. I am interested to see what is gonna happen next. I really liked the depth in these characters and they were dealing with a lot of things. They are dealing with addiction and trying to figure out 
how that addiction plays into their relationship and how it is affecting them and like their ability to be together. And I really loved that part of the book. It was a romance, but it wasn't just solely about the romance. I feel like I was so connected with the characters and what they were going through and the struggles that they were dealing with. I really loved seeing that and I feel like the romance was almost like this backseat driver to like life basically for these characters. So I really liked it and I am interested in continuing on with the series so hopefully I can get the next book at some point soon but I think that it has me intrigued enough to want to continue. I really liked the writing. I think that those authors have really great character building skills and I think that that's what's going to keep me wanting to read that series. And then I read The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Pawson, which was so hyped last year. I kept hearing about it everywhere. And so I've been wanting to read it, obviously, ever since I started hearing so much about it. I've never read anything by Ashley Pawson, so I was glad to finally get to this one. And I loved this one. This one was so good. I, again, it was a very character driven romance. Like, yes, I loved the romance, but there was so much more to the story. Like it was a story about grief and finding yourself and trying to figure out like what you want to do in life. And I always appreciate when romances kind of dive a little bit deeper into just like life and what people can go through at different stages in their lives. So I really appreciated this one and I absolutely loved the characters. I loved their romance. I thought it was so cute. It was a little insta lovey, but honestly, when I was reading it, it didn't feel that way. I didn't kind of start thinking that until like the end. I was like, you know what? They, they really did fall for each other like really quick, but I just, I don't know. There was something about it. And I loved the little bit of magical realism that was in this book. I thought it was so good. It was just like the perfect amount of a little bit of magic. So with the books that I did read, I I am glad that I got to both of those. I think that they were good choices. I am in the middle of quite a few books um, at this point. <laughs> so let me pull up my list of books that I am in the middle of and that I've started. Um, let's see, where is my currently reading? Okay, so I think the first book that I started this year was For the Throne by Hannah Witten. And this is the sequel to For the Wolf that I read last, like over a year ago, I think. And I love that book so much. And For the Throne is so good. These books are very atmospheric. And this one specifically is very dark and colorless. I, I don't even know how to, like it literally is colorless. Like she is in a place where there is like, it's just like black and white and there's no color in this place where she at. And it was just like a very dreary, dark setting, which I don't mind. But I just think like in the headspace that I was at at the beginning of January, I just like needed a more lighthearted book, something with a more colorful setting. And it, it wasn't that I wasn't liking the book. I was actually really enjoying it. And I really want to know what's going to happen with like the romance in this book but the setting was just like not it <laughs> it was it was not I think that that's almost a book that needs to be read like right at the beginning of the winter season or maybe like right at the end of the winter season because like right in the middle that seasonal depression is like hitting hard and you go into this book and it's just like just like dark it's very dark atmosphere and it just like wasn't working so I did put that one down. I intend to pick it up at some point. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in February. It might be a little bit like like later in the winter, but it is a good like fall winter read, but I, I really do think that it needed to be timed right for me personally. And I just like didn't pick it up at the right time, but I, I'm going to go back to it at some point. I just, yeah, it was just bad timing. Um, and then I'm also reading Tell Me What You Want by Lucia Franco. This one is a romance and it is a brother's best friend romance. The guy in this one just got out of jail and he ends up running into his best friend's like little sister at the cabin and they kind of like start a little bit of a fling. So it's a little bit of like forbidden. He's also older. There's like an age gap, I believe. I don't 
I don't quite remember what the age gap is, but this one is really steamy and I'm quite enjoying it so far, but that one is what I'm reading. I just, it's something that I pick up on my Kindle when I'm like out and about. It's not something that I'm focusing on currently. So I haven't finished that one, but I do think that I'm like halfway through that one. So hopefully I can pick that up one and like dedicate some time to it at some point, but I'm just like, I'm reading a lot right now. I'm also reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I finally picked up Fourth Wing and I am loving it so much. I think I have about 100 pages left and my intention was to finish it and then Crescent City 3 came out. So I'm also reading House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. So I'm reading a lot right now and there's a lot going on. I am so glad though that I picked up Fourth Wing because that one helped me so much get out of like that slumpy feeling of like just like I don't even know. The, the book was just so exciting and I love the romance in it and I'm I just like I understand the hype behind that book now that I'm like starting to read it but yeah I'm glad I picked that one up because I think that I needed to pick that one up before I picked up House of Flame and Shadow for sure. Um, so hopefully fourth wing I will be finishing like in a couple of days like the first few days of February. I do want to pick some books off of my shelf that I would like to read this month maybe. I think it's going to be a very loose TBR just kind of like books that I've been thinking about throughout January. I think those are the ones that I'm going to like pick out off of my shelves and have them set aside. I don't want to like have a set TBR because I just don't think that works for me. I, I, I've i tried it so many times and it just doesn't work. Like I tried it for January and I don't think I read anything that was on my TBR at all. So I'm going to do a little bit of a refresh in this video of the books that I have um, kind of set aside because I have this little like cute thing over here where I'm putting the books that like I want to read. So this is like my little TBR section. So I want to kind of like put some books away, pull some new ones out so that I have like a fresh selection for February of books that I've just like been thinking about and have just like, ma I made a mental note like, oh, I kind of want to read that one soon. So I'm going to pull those ones off and I will do that and I'll show y'all like, I'll probably be more of like a vloggy clip versus like me actually talking about them because I don't even know couldn't even tell you right now what is on my mind. That is the January reflection and now we are going into February. I'm really excited. So much is going to happen in February. February is going to be a busy month. Like there's a lot happening. There's some things happening that I can't really tell y'all about and yeah I'm just like really excited. So what I need to do is I need to make a to-do list actually really quick of things that I want to do today because there are some like adulting things that have nothing to do with books that I really need to do today and then some stuff that have to do with books. So the first thing that I really need to do is I really need to finish editing the video that I have ready. I have one video that's ready and it's actually from last year and I've just been sitting on the footage. I think I started editing it like two weeks ago and then I never finished it even though it's almost finished. I, like I said I don't know what was wrong with me in January so I need to finish that today. I want to get it up today would be nice. It doesn't have to go up today because I do still need to do the thumbnail but I want to get it ready for maybe like today upload or maybe like a Sunday upload. So I need to get, I need to do some editing. So editing is going on my to-do list and that's gonna, <laughs> that needs to be a really big priority um, so that I can get something out to y'all because it's been two weeks since I've uploaded. So, oh, you know what I really wanna do? I really wanna do an Instagram post. Um, side note, I re, downloaded yeah I re-downloaded Instagram on my phone I took a year off of Instagram just because I felt like I don't know I needed it I needed it for like mental health reasons and I it was really great I just had YouTube for a whole year and I think that it was very much needed but I re-downloaded Instagram so I'm gonna start putting my Instagram handle back in my description because now I'm on it and I haven't really been very active I've just kind of been like silently on Instagram but I want to do a post I want to start posting to Instagram but I want to do like a kind of like a reflection post for 2023 I know that it's already February but whatever 
<laughs> so I want to put together an Instagram post. So I'm just going to get together the pictures that I want because a lot happened in 2023 that I kind of want to like have on my Instagram. And then I also want to just like start doing Instagram content, but like very like lazily. I'll post there every now and then. I've never been an Instagram person, mostly because I feel like I don't know how to take pictures, but we're going to try to figure it out. So Instagram post is something that I want to think about. I probably won't post it today, but I need to plan on it. Those are kind of the bookish things. I am reading today, so I really need to make some progress in House of Sky, not House of Sky and Breath, House of Flame and Shadow. Um, so that's a big priority today, and I've been reading it already for most of the morning, and I will... Yeah, I want to get to part three today. That is my goal. So that's all the bookish stuff. Um, now for like life stuff, I really need to do my taxes because it's tax season. Um, so that's fun. Not fun, but needs to be done. And then I need to do a rebate for my contacts because I just ordered contacts and when you do like a, a year supply you get like a rebate so I need to put that in because I finally got them in the mail and I want to make sure that I get the money back for that so I need to do that um I want to get that done so that's just out of the way and then I don't have to think about it and I can like put all the paperwork away because I just I just have like a bunch of paperwork sitting on my desk for all like the important adult stuff that I need to do and I want it off my desk because I hate having paperwork. I hate it. It's just, it's probably the worst thing about being an adult is all the mail and paperwork that you get and it just sits there and you don't know what to do with it. So that's definitely some things that I wanna do. I, I, I really wanna get them off my list for today and then I really want to kind of spruce up the library. Um, I need to clean up some stuff. I want to clean my desk off. I want to clean, I just want to make it look a little bit more organized because I've been reading here the past few days and like things have just been piling up. I'm not like keeping it clean like as I'm in here. It just kind of like gets cluttered really easily. So I want to do that as well. So those are a couple things that I need to tick off my list today and then we'll be ready for February first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do my TBR. I kind of want to do like the bookish stuff first and get that done and then later on I'll do like the adulting stuff but I'm going to do the bookish stuff. I'm going to kind of clean up the library and then I will probably do my editing. After that we'll see where we go but I'm going to take y'all with me and we're going to go do those couple of things so I'm really excited. It just feels nice. It's going to feel so nice to just kind of like do like a mini reset. So let's go take care of the bookish side of stuff.
I got some stuff done, which is great. So I've got the TBR all settled. I also cleaned up the room and it looks great. It was just like, it was just like little things. Like it wasn't even that bad. It was just like a little bit cluttered and I kind of wanted, I don't know, just a tiny bit of a refresh so that things felt a little bit, bit more like organized in here. I didn't even do that much and I'm out of breath. Like that goes to show like how much, like, how active I am not like ever since I had my surgery, everything is just so much harder. Like just like general cleaning is hard. <laughs> it kind of sucks, but okay. So uh, it just feels so much better in here. And I had to like clean around the dogs. Like they were just, they didn't even move. They just napped the entire time. And I'm just like, man, must be nice. All of the kind of like bookish stuff is done and now I need to get to editing. So I'm gonna do all of like my computer work now. I'm gonna do the editing, taxes, like all of the stuff that I gotta sit down at my desk and do and just like knock it out and get it out of the way. <laughs> did it videos uploaded or well it's scheduled to be uploaded it is gonna go up today because I took thumbnail stills so that's great so it's easy to do a thumbnail um, love when I remember to actually get something for a thumbnail <laughs> it's great um, so that's gonna go up in like 45 minutes it's processing right now and that feels great. I'm so glad that I finally got that one up. I don't know why it took me so long to finish the editing. And I really liked how, the, how it came out. That was a really fun video. It's the subscribers choose my TBR. And I would love to do that again. And I don't know. Maybe now that I have Instagram, I'll do it over there. We'll see. But that is done. So I am now going to get into the not so fun stuff. And I'm going to do my taxes. so great on my to-do list I got as far as I could on my taxes I need to get like the form for the 401k like the retirement stuff and I need to like go into work to do that because I don't I don't even know any of my login information and it automatically logs in there so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow when I go in to get that information and then file my taxes it sucks because I ran out of like the school like credit <sighs> so my taxes are just kind of meh this, this year I don't really get anything back so that that sucks but oh well um so that's pretty much done and I also posted to Instagram um, I just kind of posted like a little look-see back see on the last year because I was gone off Instagram. So I just posted a bunch of like a little bit of a photo dump of the last year. So that was really fun. And I know that my next post, I want to do something with House of Flame and Shadow. So I need to plan that out. I'll probably do something this weekend whenever I finish it. Um, but I definitely want to do a post on that. And then after that, I have no idea what I want to do. So that's done I'm done in here um, until I can get back to reading House of Flame and Shadow I think right now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna actually do a little bit of cleaning out in the living area and kitchen because 
it's a mess and I feel like that should probably be part of my reset because I don't even want to go out there it's like clean in here it looks great in here and I love that I straightened this out and got this to a good point but out there is an absolute disaster I don't even know if I want to show y'all but I will so let's go take a look at what I need to clean and I'm just gonna spend like maybe like 20 30 minutes just kind of trying to straighten things up before Peter gets home um he is actually going to pick up pizza on his way home because neither of us feels like cooking and I think we just kind of need a little bit of a break from using the kitchen so I'm gonna clean it up and then it'll just be clean for the rest of the night so I'm gonna go do that and I think that'll be the end of like the productive stuff I need to do but I <laughs> I'll be so glad when the apartment is clean we're definitely gonna do a deeper clean this weekend because we kind of like we kind of slacked off on the cleaning for the past like two weeks just because we were so busy but I just want to get it a little bit in order at least out there so let's go let's go I'm gonna show y'all how bad it is um honestly I don't know why this wasn't a more important thing on my um to-do list today but I think it's because I just didn't want to so here is the kitchen it is the entire counter is cluttered and then my goodness we have all of our clothes over here it's not terrible like it could be worse but it definitely bothers me so i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and yeah then that'll be the end of productivity for tonight You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think So I got my cleaning done and then it was time for me to ice my foot because my foot was kind of hurting from how much I was like on it today. I'm still recovering the foot from surgery so sometimes I just kind of have to like stop doing things. But I was able to at least get the kitchen clean and I got the Roomba going so that the place can get vacuumed. Love that thing. And honestly for the rest of the night I'm just going to read House of Flame and Shadow and try to make as much progress in this as possible. I am doing a reading vlog for this and it is non-spoiler, so that's probably coming in the next week or two. But yeah, I'm just gonna go back to reading this for the rest of the night and that's pretty much it. I'm 
really glad that I took some time out of today. I didn't think I was going to. I really thought I was just going to make it a reading day and that was it. But I'm really glad that I just kind of like sat down and did some of the things that I needed to do and I wanted to do. So it was a very productive day and I feel like it was a good start to the month and I'm very much looking forward to just kind of like doing this more often where I just not in a reset way but just kind of like set some time aside to do the things that I want to do and make time for the things that I need to do because now I feel like I can just like spend the rest of the night reading and I don't have anything else on my mind and it's great so there's a lot more that is going to be happening this month it's going to be like I said a pretty busy month I would really like to know what y'all have planned for February like what are y'all's TBRs what is on the top of your list to read what did you read in January how did you how did the year start off for you? Was it kind of the same? Were you just lumpy like me? Or was it like a good start to the year? I hope y'all all had good starts to the year. So definitely leave a comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.